Hello everyone, this is Robert from Book of Mormon Editions, where we discuss printings, publications, and various editions of the Book of Mormon. Well, this one will be a fun one and a great start to the new year. The book that we'll review today is the Unofficial Chat GPT Translation for Gen Z Book of Mormon. Right off the bat, I think there's some explaining to do on this one. So many of you will know that ChatGPT has been in the news lately, and it's getting quite a lot of traction around the water cooler. So what is it, and why is it included in this Book of Mormon? In a nutshell, ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence program that attempts to think, react, and create dialogue for users. In essence, this AI has been has the ability to be asked questions or given commands and it will spit out some pretty good results within seconds. Most of the news we've heard lately is regarding students asking ChatGPT to help with write their papers, which is there which is pretty good at. However, there is more to this, uh, much more and very effective. For example, I have a relative who is a Sunday school teacher and asks ChatGPT to come up with some questions regarding various chapters in that particular lesson. What's also more funny than useful is that you can also request the text to be in alternative styles, such as pirate language, and it produces the same results with an alternative text with a few r mateys laced in. Um, what's significant here is that there's also a Gen Z vocabulary, which uses a lot of slang and abbreviations that would be used for a younger generation. So in this case, the publishers of this volume requested the text of the Book of Mormon be rephrased into Gen Z vocabulary, and the results are pretty surprising. So basically, this volume is the text of the Book of Mormon rephrased for a Gen Z younger audience. For example, the first Nephi chapter 1 verse 1 is common enough, but the Gen Z style prints the verse as, quote, Yo, it's Nephi. I was born to dope parents who taught me all of their knowledge. I've been through some rough times, but the Lord has blessed me with mad knowledge about his mysteries, so I'm making a record of my life, end quote. It seems the whole volume is in this youthful slang language. Which brings up a conversation regarding the language of the Book of Mormon and how respectful publishers and readers alike should be regarding it. Right off the bat, this chat GPT volume lists an introductory paragraph stating that the publishers do not assert any claim of divine inspiration regarding this artificial intelligence volume, and it should be seen as a parody or for entertainment purposes. However, it can be a useful alternative uh, for meanings and additional understandings. They also suggest reading the official volume of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints to gain the divine guidance as intended. So in essence, their intention is in the right place, as this is an alternative text submitted through ChatGPT artificial intelligence systems for Gen Z vocabulary. The reaction from this volume when shown to others has been really interesting. A seminary teacher read Moroni's Promise in Moroni chapter 10 and was really amazed at the vocabulary and mentioned that's exactly how the kids needed to hear it in order for them to get it. Others have had a chuckle as often they'll say, yep, that's how my teenage speaks nowadays. So while this volume is a little in jest, it's interesting that you have an alternative vocabulary to the Book of Mormon that was processed by artificial intelligence. This is a soft cover volume with yellow gold titling with the text split into double column format and versing matching to Salt Lake versing systems. I found it funny that even the person listed for credit is named Broseph Smith. These can only be found at Amazon as a print-on-demand order. So thanks everyone for going down a rabbit hole regarding a byproduct of artificial intelligence and the Book of Mormon. And thank you to those who that referred me to this volume for me to look at. As always, if you have a special or unique edition of the Book of Mormon that you'd like reviewed here, please contact me at bomeditions at gmail.com. Best wishes until next time.